premium market opportunities. Presenting premium and exclusive service for investors by Calcon. Good morning and welcome to the ASX at Breakfast. I'm Rachel, live from Calkine Studios in Sydney. Now, the Australian share market is expected to end the week in the red after Wall Street saw a sell-off in overnight trade as interest rate hike concerns dragged the market down after some strong economic data. As the year draws to a close, the hopes of a Santa Claus rally in the last days of 2022 are fading as investors prepare to close the book on the worst year for the stock exchange since 2008. Now, according to the latest SPY futures, the ASX 200 will open 99 points lower. That's 1.4% lower. Yesterday, the index ended 0.5% higher at 7,152 points. Moving on to some business news from this morning now, and Syra and the Tesla agreement is on track. Syra Resources referring to its offtake agreement with Tesla from last year to supply natural graphite active anode material from its production facility in Vidalia in the U.S. says the agreement has been fulfilled. Syra plans to expand Vidalia's capacity to 11.25 kilotons per annum active anode material from production due to start by September 2023. A definitive feasibility study on the expansion of Vidalia's production capacity to at least 45 KTPA AAM, inclusive of 11.25 KTPA AAM, is underway. PNG LNG sell down exclusivity period with Kumal has been extended from Santos. In September, Santos received a binding conditional offer from Kumal Petroleum Holdings to acquire a 5% interest in PNG LNG for an asset value of 1.4 billion US dollars. That includes a proportioned share of PNG LNG project finance debt of approximately 0.3 billion US dollars. Kamal has advised Santos it's now extended the period in which the offer will remain open until the 30th of April next year. Santos has agreed to deal exclusively with Kamal during this period regarding the sale of equity in PNG LNG. A Superloop has acquired My Republic subscribers. The subscriber transfer agreement is to acquire all of My Republic's 52,000 NBN subscribers at $250 per migrated subscriber. The bulk of My Republic customers are expected to migrate to the Superloop brand during February 2023. The final purchase price will be adjusted to reflect the exact number of subscribers who will ultimately migrate to Superloop. Should all potential subscribers migrate, total consideration would be around $13 million. Well, now it's time for a short break, but stay tuned for more news set to affect your trading day. If you're looking to keep abreast of the biggest stories from the crypto world, the fate of exchanges and crypto hedge funds during the ongoing bear market, and you're wanting to keep up to date with the best and worst performers in the altcoin space and that of flagship currencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, then Calcine Media's daily crypto catch is absolutely essential viewing for you. Tune in each afternoon right here on Calcine Media to get the latest scoop from Anchor to ZeroCoin. And welcome back to the ASX at Breakfast Report, taking a quick look at global markets. On Wall Street, the Dow Jones fell 1.05%, the S&P 500 dipped 1.45% and the Nasdaq ended 2.18% lower. The Pan-European Stock 600 Index lost 0.97% and MSCI's gauge of stocks across the world shed 0.98%. Now, oil fell over one US dollar a barrel yesterday and that's in choppy trade as the impact of tighter US crude stocks due to a winter storm in the U.S. 
was outweighed by fees, the U.S. Federal Reserve interest rate hikes, and also China's rising COVID-19 cases would dent demand. WTI crude fell 1.02 percent to settle at $77.49 U.S. cents a barrel. Brent crude settled at $80.98 a barrel. That was down 1.48 percent on the day. Gold slid in opposition to the greenback's rise after data underscored U.S. economic resiliency amid the Fed's battle against inflation. Spot gold fell 1.3 percent to 1,791 U.S. dollars an ounce. Well, that's all for ISX at Breakfast Report this morning here at Calkine TV. Have a great day trading. Stay tuned for more market updates and economic news live throughout the day. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'm Rachel signing off for now.